What is up everybody? My name is Grizzgoat. Welcome to the third episode of the Speed Build Let's Play Planet Zoo Franchise Mode series. We're starting off by adding just a little bit of bulk to this uh, viewing area. It just looked a little kind of flimsy, so just wanted to thicken it up, make it look a little stronger. Uh, make guests feel supported while they're in there. Not that they're not that it's gonna fall on their head. Getting some research done, checking in on our African buffalo. They all seem to be doing good. Little issues with incest breeding, but uh, we figured that out. Onto the main archway. I want it to feel wild, uh, kind of crazy, a little scary. So we're putting massive boulders on top. And then we're just kind of checking the visual from that angle, making sure that uh, you can still see the balcony there, and that it all feels kind of connected. And here we are making sure just kind of make it look supported. Uh, I'm not going to go through and do the underside yet since that's not really anything people see. There we are getting a ground view look. And now we're going to add some just kind of ATM slots, or ATMs at the top of the thing, just so uh, more visitors feel inclined to spend their well-earned money on our exhibits. We'll add some advertisements on these. Once we get some uh, actual restaurants and uh, food vendors that aren't just vending machines in there. Played around with the idea of a security camera. I don't. I don't think I really need it yet. Uh, I keep winning awards for the three months without any uh, crime, so I think we're doing good on that point. Now here we are. We're going to be planning out the main kind of attraction. Not attraction, but. Uh, the main focal point of our zoo. So we do kind of have three things going on. We have the the rock archway, the buffalo, and then we'll have this uh, that we're planning out right here. You'll know, find making circles in uh, Planet Zoo is very hard, but this is a good way to do it. Originally I was thinking that this main structure would be just kind of like a courtyard, but I didn't I don't know if I like I didn't like that idea very much. Sometimes it's better to just stick with your fir the first idea in your head. Um, the courtyard kind of came because I needed needed restaurants, but I didn't want to make one yet. So now we're go that's what we're going to be doing is uh, something that purely only adds an aesthetic to the, 
the park. So here I am using a terrain tool to try to build up a mountain as best I can. I'm not sure if there's a better way to do it. Um, you know, it started off this kind of lumpy blob. Um, <clears throat> so we're trying to, we're kind of going for that Disneyland walk in and see the the castle or you walk in and see a, a Matterhorn or something. effects. Making a few adjustments to make it look a little more realistic, like it's actually pouring out of the pool up top. So that the concrete structure is going to be going to end up being a sign for the zoo um, when the guests look out over the buffalo past that they'll see the main uh, sign for the zoo which I think looks really nice uh, and I kind of wanted it to feel like it had been there for ages so uh, what better way to put it to give it that feeling than embed it into a mountain Here we are working with the lettering. The zoo's called the Grizzoo, so pretty easy. Adding some decorations to it, making it look, give it that natural feel. <clears throat> The waterfall does block out the eye, which I think gives it that, like, nature has taken over feel that I was going for. I might go back and kind of put maybe two waterfalls around the name, maybe, instead of just the one going down the middle. But I kind of like it. I, I think it's kind of a unique thing. You don't really see people intentionally break up the main sign to their zoo. Here we are, we're just figuring out um, <clears throat> the African buffalo situation. Um, getting some traded off to the trade center.
Now I was gonna build a wall to kind of can contain the mountain a little bit. Uh, I don't. I kind of want it to be just a little one-sided. Uh, so, but instead of a wall, I decided to go with uh, these big palm trees and kind of shrink them down to kind of hide it from the back, so you don't see that. Just like ugly rocky mountain thing. <laughs> and then you can see the trees poking up, and I really like that look of just like the mountain. The sign is being absorbed by the mountain, the mountain's being absorbed by the trees. I think it looks really nice. And we're putting up some of my awarded statues. some more African buffalo into the wild. Adding some lights to get that nice reflection off of the gold statues. And then to power it all up, we're gonna hide a... We thought about doing a solar panel. <coughs> But we end up doing the transformer uh, just inside the mountain there. Always have fun with the pathing system in this game. But what can you do? And now we're just gonna hide it with some overgrown trees grasses, some ivy hanging down. some rock to make it look uh, a little bit more like it fits into the environment and separate it from the path. Uh, I might actually go back and move some of that. There's a main view right there to look at some of our African buffalo. through the stuff we already finished. I had no idea that they actually had finished interiors to them. Um, <clears throat> pretty crazy. There's a look at the mountain. Got some vending machines broken down, so there's a higher look at everything. It's all coming along. Somewhere along the line, I did change that to orange. I didn't quite catch that, but... I think the orange pops against the gray a little better. Uh, it makes it so you can see the uh, lettering even through the waterfall part. So yeah, there's a finished product and where I'll uh, leave off this episode. Uh, like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.